My typical characteristics are that I enjoy trying new things, I like taking risks, and as always, I'm ready for adventure. After she finished university, Katharina Maya and a friend founded a startup, a small business with an innovative idea. Kuchentratsch is a bakery in Munich that serves as a meeting place for elderly people who come to us with their recipes and bake cakes. And we sell the cakes. We came up with the idea because we both said, our grandmother's cakes are delicious, so why can't we buy them anywhere? Part of the job is exchanging information and experience with other young entrepreneurs. Katharina often attends startup seminars. For this one, she's traveling from Munich in southern Germany to Berlin. No one in my family grew up in the East or lived there at any time. So I have no personal contacts to share experiences with. When I go to the East, I don't notice all that much of a difference. Nothing that would make me think, oh, now I'm in the East. Of course, there's the dialect, but there's also a difference between the Hamburg dialect and Bavarian, so it's perfectly normal for me. Katharina was born in Munich on June the 1st, 1989, the year the Berlin Wall fell. She spent her childhood both in the city and the mountains of Bavaria. After finishing school, she did an apprenticeship in hotel management. At university, she studied social and health management. Along the way, she traveled extensively. In 2014, she and her friend Katrin Blaschke founded their bakery. With their above-average education, the two are typical of Generation 25. I have all the opportunities I could ever want. I can say from one day to another, I'll do this or I'll do that. I'm well-educated enough to be able to try out anything. When I see many people who grew up in other countries that have a lot of social problems, I can only say, I have prospects and a future, and I can shape it myself without being told what to do. But it wasn't handed to her on a silver platter. Sometimes the co-founders spend up to 12 days in a row in their office, or in the bakery, coordinating the work. They collected most of the money for their initial equipment by crowdfunding. Donations amounted to 25,000 euros. Crowdfunding is a pretty common way to finance ventures for Katarina's generation. Baking takes place three times a week. 22 retirees work here part-time to supplement their pensions. You see increasingly that senior citizens nowadays are more isolated and that they're having difficulty making ends meet. So we thought it'd be great to make use of their skills and have them bake here professionally. The cakes, up to 90 a week, go to cafes, restaurants, caterers and other companies in and around Munich. Right now, it's still difficult. We pay ourselves very little so we can survive, but we notice that we can pay more every month. To me, success means setting up and putting into operation something that adds value to society. Katharina's attitude is one she shares with many young professionals. According to a recent study, they want companies to demonstrate social responsibility. Most highly educated young Germans aren't motivated solely by ambition. Only 37% say they want to make it to the very top of their profession. But there is a noticeable gender gap. Almost half of all men say they want to achieve a leadership position. Only a third of women have similar ambitions. Katharina says there's also still a difference between Eastern and Western Germany in that respect. I can very well imagine that role models are still different because West Germany was very much influenced by the U.S. Freedom, frankness, and a career ambition. The idea that anything is possible. I think that was quite a strong influence, but now that's 25 years ago, and maybe something's changed after all these years.
My greatest fear, of course, is that we'll fail and that what we thought would work won't. But otherwise, I'm a very optimistic person, and I think you can get something good out of every failure or stumbling block. Thank you.